Hello friends, welcome to Scotty G and my name is Scott. So in this video, I want to show you how you can log into your VTS or your RDP using uh, the Microsoft or Windows uh, system. The only thing you want to do is just to go to um, Windows. Sorry, you can go there and search uh, and type in remote, uh, remote desktop, remote desktop or remote. It's just enough and it will prompt up that application. And then what you need to do is to go to your server provider and you copy the IP address. So depends if you bought the server from someone it's fine you just copy that ip address and you paste it there and then you select connect okay you can save this then you select connect so it will prompt for the password again then you paste your password but if you're going to use uh, amazon you just have to come over here and select connect um sorry about that You just have to select connect and then you select RDP client, you select get password, you select that and then you select your key, then you select the clip and then um, you copy the password, okay? Then you come back here, then you paste the password. So let me say that is your case, but if you're, if you're from maybe from if someone gave you the password, well, you just have to copy and paste that, okay? Then you select connect. Oh, server is prompting wrong password. Uh, let me go back. I will need to confirm this. Okay, let me first confirm this. If I've copied the right IP, I copied the right IP. I test, save, connect the password I come back now yeah, click connect RDP client okay the password okay HG I click password and now click copy and I paste I click okay what happened What's happening here? Oh, let me handle something here. Okay, one of the mistakes I had made in with the word administrator had made a mistake. I typed administrator, but I think everything is okay now. Okay, now I need to click connect. And I think I paste the password. I'll click OK. Then I'll click don't ask me for this certificate query again. And then I believe I'll be done with the connection. Okay, since this server is just new, you can just look at it, it's just new. And uh, I think, you no, know, uh, I'll just delete this. Now we try to customize it. Okay. Let me try to customize this. Okay. I just want it like that. And uh, if I try to check uh, the specifications of this server, about, uh, well, it's what I wanted because I want something like a 16 GB of RAM and then a processor of 3 gigahertz and above so because i'm going to use this server for streaming and uh, other things to do so i believe that is uh, that is enough for me and uh, i think i can go on and download the softwares which i need like uh, uh, which is recommended you can activate downloads uh, oh yeah security we come to custom level i just want to down activate only one thing and now download enable okay yes apply okay okay i think i can uh, download the 
software as I did here. Wanted to download OBS Studio. Software. So Windows. This is what we wanted. 